Um, I came to the United States when I was about a year old. I think I had just turned a year old because I have pictures of where I turned a year old in Mexico and then there's a gap and then my mom's pregnant. So I think a year, yeah. Um, I think I kind of knew that I was born here in America, but my mom had always told me that if anybody ever asked to just say that I was born here because she was afraid that they'd do something to me. I came to the United States when I was nine years old and I've always known that I was undocumented. I was born in the country of Guatemala and I came when I was six years old, so I have always known I was undocumented. I was born in Mexico. Okay, so I think I fi found out when I was like about nine. I don't know. I don't think my parents were knowledgeable enough because I remember when I was applying to college, it was me doing everything. And whenever I would ask about something, they never knew anything. Applying to college and being a dreamer was hard because all of my, well, the few of my cousins that had gone to college, they had done FAFSA and not Dream Act, so they couldn't help me. They didn't know my application and how to do it. So when I did it by myself, I ended up doing it wrong. And at, a, at one point, I wasn't going to receive financial aid. I just felt super weird about asking about like the Dream Act because I felt like nobody else was filling it out and I was like the only one. Like I felt like I was by myself. Que sean unos profesionales, que sean unas personas de bien en todo sentido, o puedan tener un futuro mejor, el futuro que yo no pude tener. And I feel like undocumented kids feel this struggle because they feel the struggle more because our parents gave up so much of their life for us and we can't just not do anything with our lives. So I feel like I've always put this pressure on myself with getting good grades and like trying to be the best I could be so that they can be proud of me and like tell them that like, oh, like, you know, this was worth it. Like all like the trials you went through and the sacrifice, like it was worth it. My biggest struggle since like, um, I guess like kind of realizing that I might not see everybody again. I think that because I'm undocumented and I wanted to go to college, it was harder for me because I wasn't born here, so I knew that I wasn't going to get a lot of money, and I think it made me try harder. It sucks because we barely get enough, and I feel like we try harder than most people do. The biggest struggle of being undocumented is you literally depend on people in the government system, which they don't understand how they make you feel whenever they threaten to take out like certain things like the DACA. You always like wonder, am I gonna be able to renew it? Am I gonna be able to go to school? Am I gonna be able to get a job? It's like you never know, you're always on thin ice about it. You know, and I just feel like I don't belong there. And at the same time, like being here, being undocumented and watching the news and like just hearing the undocumented like situation going on like every single time, it just makes me feel like I'm not wanted here either. Hay muchos estudiantes que son buenos en, en, en lo, sus grados, honores y, y valorar eso porque ellos también necesitan y vienen aquí por un futuro mejor. Si el gobierno pues debería de, de ponerle un poco más de asunto a esto, ¿verdad? Que vayan más informaciones en las escuelas para que ellos sepan cómo pueden salir adelante porque ellos quieren salir adelante. Can I have presentations like the ones that they hold for the the UC system, the Cal State system, kind of have like presentations just directly for undocumented slash streamers slash AB 540 um, students so that you know that they can have more help and more like information on that because I feel like a lot of students don't think they have a lot of help from the government. Just make them aware that there are like more 
options about things more like um, scholarships and stuff like that. Just n make them know that, you know, it is possible to achieve your dreams, even if it's harder. I don't want to have to wonder if I'm gonna be here next week or in a year, you know. Sometimes I'm thinking about my future and I'm like, wait, hold up, you know. You don't know if you're gonna be here in a year or two. And it sucks, you know, because I do want to be here. I don't know anything else but here. We're just literally like everybody else. And I feel like the government can open up more federal aid and more help for dreamers. The most important thing is to let undocumented kids know that they're not like parasites or they're not like unwelcomed. My message to undocumented students now is just do your research. Like there's so like that's I feel like that's literally it. Do your research, like get help. I feel like they try harder than a lot of people out in this world and I feel like you know you do you as long as you know that you're focused and you're doing what you have to do to succeed and be better than most people that you know were born here you're already doing a good job the fact that you got to graduate the fact that you're going to you know go to college and study and dream and work hard is why you came to the United States for the first in the first place you know for the American dream and accept your your country accept where you came from, except where your family comes from. You know, accept it and embrace it and like use that to, you know, push yourself, like motivate yourself and like become someone that your family is proud of, someone that you're proud of.